here to review and talk about your web apps. I found a really cool productivity and task management app that I would love to share with you. So let's go check it out. So the app is called Noted In, and this is essentially a notes and task management system that enables you to write down your thoughts right now and then think about them later. So we see this is their launch page right now. And if you look down here, Noted In is free right now while it's in beta. And I love things that are free. So I'm liking this already. If we go on over here, we can check out their introduction. And so this page provides you with all of the list of rules that you will need to get up and running with Noted In. So there are a few syntax rules. So you can do italics, bold, and underline. Oh, sorry, italics, bold, and strike through. You can create unordered lists, order lists, and you can also tag all of your notes to group things together. And this is what the main page will look like for you. So I've already created one note down here, and um, I'll talk about that in a minute. One thing that you'll note is it looks really, really cool. Um, they've done some really neat graphical things to, to make this app really user friendly. So um, just right up here, you can start making a note. I've pre-written a note here to keep things going quickly. So this was a note that I just made. So we can see there are some, th some simple things like this is what a regular note would look like. This is what a note would look like bold. Uh, here is an unordered list and here's an ordered list and here are my different tags right down here. So you can see when I mouse over unordered list, there's a little pop up that says convert to tasks. So if I click that, it will automatically convert all of your unordered lists into a task list. And then you can go and you can start knocking things off as you get them done. So I have here play another 90 hours and follow three. Might not happen anytime soon, but it might, we'll see, in order to uh, beat this main story mission down here. And then at some point I might wanna buy groceries. Might be useful, you can see up here, I need to buy some apples, bananas, and bread. Um, so we can go down to our tag, click on this, and you'll see that I have another note about Fallout 3 down here. So this is what I'm currently working on in the game. And I have uh, really easily assigned priorities to each of these tasks. I get those things done, you just check them off, and they're good to go. And so basically, that's all you need to know about how to use the app. You just click up here, you type new notes, and then you post them, and then you can come back to them and think about them later. Um, really easy for you to go and start editing notes. So I'm gonna type in old note. Really easy for you to delete your notes. And then you can take a look at all of the tasks that you have left to do. So it'll uh, pull up all of the, the things that you have. So you can set up different trays. So these would be, uh, I guess, logical groupings of different notes that you have. So I've only set up one and I don't have anything in here right now, but it's just, it has the same layout as what your default activity stream would look like. So that's basically the whole app. All you do right now is just add your notes, add some syntax, and then start checking things off your to-do list as you get them done. So that was a quick overview of Noted In. So here are the pros and cons. Number one, it has great design. It's a great looking app. I, I do really like the design. It's really easy to use. Number two, they have an embedded video player. So if you have this big long queue of YouTube videos that you haven't watched yet, and you want to eventually get around to them, just throw them into a note and there's an embedded player right within the app. So you can just load up your videos right there and watch them within Noted In, within one of your notes. And thirdly, the app is super quick to learn and it's really easy to set up. Now for the cons. This app is in beta, so uh, it's to be expected that there are some minor graphical issues. There's some buttons that don't work, some typos here and there, but it really doesn't detract away from the core value that this app gives to you. So you are able to get everything done that you need to get done. Uh, number two, I would really love to have ordered tasks. I think those are really useful. So yes, you can assign priorities, but I would really like to number my tasks when I'm, when I'm checking things off. And thirdly, so the app can pull out uh, due dates and deadlines from within your text. And I would really love to receive email notifications if I have things that are not done yet. And the deadline is coming up. I want the app to tell me that I have something that I have to get done. Overall, I'm going to give Noted In a 3.5 completed task out of five. So 
it's not bad. It's in beta right now, and I'd love to check out the mobile version once they get that up and running. Uh, and that's it for Noted In. So as always, you can follow me on Twitter. You can reach me at Barbara E. Matt, and stay tuned for our next review of a web app.